everyone. Uh, my name is Evan Jacobs, and I do a page on Instagram called Boxing Time with Evan. And I would like to welcome you to the first broadcast from Boxing Time TV. Uh, there was a lot of controversy recently about the Andre Ward Sergey Kovalev bout, and I just got to thinking, why not? You know, using the tools that I have with me, mainly the BoxRec site, because it's such a great um, treasure trove of um, fighter stats and information. Why do we need to wait for the rematch? Let's have a simulation of it. So right now, you're going to see Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev two in a rematch, and hopefully, um, as you can see. You know, they are very evenly matched. Um, you know, I, I updated everything. Sergey Kovalev does have that one loss, though disputed, to Andre Ward. Odds are even on the fight. Let's get right to it. Hopefully, we're in for a great 12 rounds fight on our first broadcast from Boxing Time TV. All right, the fighters are coming out. You know, as you remember in the first bout, um, it was very, very interesting because uh, Kovalev was on him. And every time Kovalev hit him in the first you know, like two to four rounds of that fight, Ward looked like he felt those shots, even so much so that Ward got dropped in the second round. And that was startling because, you know, Ward had never been dropped. And as you see right there, Ward lands a, a very nice right, right, right hand. So already he's obviously learned something from the first fight because uh, he wasn't landing like that early. He was trying to, but Kovalev was sort of making it impossible. And then a lot of people believe that Kovalev slowed down the stretch due to the body shots that Andre Ward had landed. Um, right now, Kovalev basically establishing the jab, going to the body, which you know may maybe that's something that he's learned that you know he sort of wants to negate Andre Ward in that in that way. Oh, Ward hits him again with a nice sneaky left. That actually it was the big difference in this bout. Um, in their first bout was that Ward, um, Ward, people felt landed the cleaner punches, whereas they felt that Sergey Kovalev landed the harder punches. Kovalev lands a nice, a nice like poleaxing jab. I, I want to say that it was a left jab. Andre Ward. In the, I want to say, gray trunks, Sergey Kovalev in the black and white trunks. Also, Andre Ward is on the left side of the screen, and Sergey Kovalev is on the right. These two guys standing in front of each other. In many ways, this just looks like the 13th round of their first fight. They're just in front of each other, and they're both trying to establish, you know, dominance. And it remains to be seen what how, how, how that will transpire. Because both guys certainly had a plan in that first fight. Nice left hook by Sergey Kovalev. But Ward's been landing and certainly been keeping Kovalev honest. As we head into the final minute of the first round. Already you can see that Andre Ward's demeanor is different than from the first fight. Uh, he doesn't seem to be shaken up by the punches. He seems to be more willing to... Um, take chances. It's almost like he, he knows that ultimately Kovalev can't hurt him as much as Kovalev thinks that he can. And um, right now Kovalev again trying to go to the body. You know, Ward just seems like he's been he's been busier. He, he doesn't want to fall in the traps like that though because he pulled straight back right there a little bit. And that's somewhere that Kovalev, if, if he can land, could have a lot of success. Very entertaining first first round. All right, both of us are breathing heavy, and the first judge gives it to Sergey Kovalev. The second judge gives it to Sergey Kovalev, and the final judge gives it to Andre Ward. Already, I'm beginning to sense we're going to see interesting scorecards as Ward has 28 points and Kovalev has 29. And it's 12 round bout. In this simulated rematch between Sergey Kovalev and Andre Ward. You know, it's, it's, oh, 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 that did not happen in the first fight. Oh, and Ward seems to be jumping on him. He was able to rock Kovalev. Maybe Kovalev was off balance, but the, that, that body shot certainly got Kovalev's attention. And now, and Ward moves in. Ward's very good at fighting on a dime. He can stand right in front of Sergey Kovalev, and he's not getting hit. 
And that's just a testament to his defense, a testament to his slickness, a testament to his his just how well conditioned he is to be able to do that. Oh. Maybe uh, Ward heard me read the judges' scorecards. I don't know, but he's certainly come out with something to prove in this in this round. And, and make no mistake, if these guys hurt one another, they're going to try to end it. Because they, they they know that the other guy is here. And, they, and, 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 oh, wow, and Kovalev just got, just got rocked by a, by a, I'm sorry, Kovalev rocked Ward with a body shot and then took two left, left hands. That's, that, that's the problem for Sergey Kovalev is he, he's open for the shots and they're clean shots against Andre Ward and Ward's clean shots score points and might be more crowd, might be more pleasing to the eye. Then when Kovalev lands a big punch and Andre Ward's hurt, maybe it doesn't register as much with the judges. I could be wrong here, but I think this bout's going to end a lot differently than their than the, than the first bout. Both these guys seem eager to put a statement on this. As we head into the final minute of round number two, this clearly, in my mind, has been Andre Ward's round, but who knows what the judges are thinking. And Kovalev seems intent on on getting back some of the ground that he lost from the from the first round. Ward setting traps right there like that sneaky uppercut. Oh look at that work. Look at that. Look at that left look at that left hand work. He's been he you can tell that he's been working on that. You know you know it's interesting for as many times as Andre Ward hit Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev seems to only have to, sit, to hit him once to really get Ward's attention. This is very, very interesting. But as we saw in the first fight, those punches started to not matter as much. Even though Ward never really hurt Kovalev, they just didn't matter as much coming from Sergei Kovalev. It was almost like Andre Ward had sapped him with the uh, body shots. We, let's see what the, how the judges score. Both fighters are still breathing heavy. Andre Ward took that round, it looks like, on at least two of the judges' cards. On all three judges' cards. So I believe, if I'm right, Andre Ward is now up by two points against Sergey Kovalev in this simulated rematch. Once again, uh, my name is Evan Jacobs. I do a uh, show on Instagram called Boxing Time with Evan. Um, Andre Ward is on the left side of the screen in the gray trunks. Sergey Kovalev is on the right side of the screen in the black and white trunks. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that Ward's starting to be emboldened. And it's going to be interesting to see how Sergey Kovalev deals with that. Will he... Will he... You know, be able to place his punches and land the way he wants to land, or is he going to fight the fight that Andre Ward wants him to fight? That's the thing about Andre Ward. That's that's his whole game: getting you to fight at his pace, getting you to fight the way he wants you to fight. Andre Ward's an Olympian. Sergey Sergey Kovalev, storied career, just a tough guy. Wins over has a win over Bernard Hopkins. You have Andre Ward. You know, wins wins over people like Paul Frock, um, or Froch, I think it is. Um, Chad Dawson. Just a great. These are just two of boxing's best best fighters, and that's why that, you know I, I skill level when I made them in the computer using the stats from BoxRec. You know, I just made them. These two guys are the made them two two of the best. There are very few weaknesses. Even though Ward got dropped in that first fight. Oh, Kovalev working from a distance. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to take away, he wants to make it hard for Andre Ward to uh, work. Because if Andre Ward can't work, he can't throw punches, he can't win the fight. Ward backing up using the, I'm sorry, Kovalev backing up and using the ring. Nice body shot. It's interesting, Kovalev continues to go to the body. I wonder, I wonder if he's banking on that for later in the fight. Oh, what a combination. Andre Ward, it's good for him to be bold, but he doesn't want to be too bold. He could get into a lot of trouble that way. 
Kovalev there landing with a left. Ward has not done a lot. He's been trying. Kovalev's just kept him at a distance. Made him think about what he's doing. And that's the problem for a guy like Andre Ward. Andre Ward is thinking because of so much instinct and so much slickness. Oh, what a nice left hand by, by Andre Ward. He's going to need more to win this round. He's going to take chances to do it. And these two guys are still trading. Oh, as Andre Ward lands a couple of cute shot punches at the end of the round. Is that enough to sway the computer judges? Let's find out as we close out round three. Ward is cut over his eye. And uh, one judge has it even. Another judge gives it to Ward. Another judge gives it to Kovalev. So these scores, once again, are going to be all over the place. 87, 85. Andre Ward is ahead. Oh, Kovalev comes out and lands on those, on that. Okay. And, 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 and that's the thing. I mean, if I'm Sergey Kovalev, I'm going to be thinking, okay, I need to do some work on that, on that eye. Now he's backing Andre Ward up into a corner. I, this is not something that I expected. Honestly, I thought that Andre Ward may have learned a lot from the first fight. Now Kovalev's just trying to tee off. I think what Kovalev's trying to do, and I think it's very smart, he wants to make that cut worse. He wants to make it a gash. Because if he does, in this game, make it a gash, the computers, this is a very intuitive, almost AI, you know, artificial intelligence type game. If Ward is not responding and that gash gets bad, they will stop the fight. If Ward's in the fight and the gash is bad and the cut's bad, then they may not. All Kovalev wants to do is just land on him, open it up, make the possibility, because he, he, he has wounded him. However, in trying to do this, he also opens himself up to shots. Oh, and he has Ward wobbled. He has Ward against the ropes. He's teeing. Oh, Ward's hurt now. Ward's hurt again. You know, and it's not even so much that he's hurt or if he go. I mean, it almost would behoove Ward to go down because, he, oh, and Ward lands a nice right uppercut. It almost would help Ward to go down during when that happens because that cut's just going to get worse. I'm sorry, I don't have in front of me who Ward's cut man is. I'm sure he's probably one of the top cut men in the game. He's got Virgil Hunter as a trainer. You know, and Sergey Kovalev has John David Jackson. John David Jackson, incidentally, in reality, years ago at a local fight card here in Orange County, I stamped his hand to get into the fight. He and I were talking because I knew who he was. I think he was the champion at that time. And uh, we got to talking. And eventually he said to me, hey, is there some way you can get me through all this stuff, and I just snapped his hand and got him in and hoped that the promoter, who Roy Engelbrecht, who I now work for, didn't find out and get upset with him. We're in the final minute of this round, and it's not been a good round for Andre Ward. And Sergey Kovalev is uh, establishing some things, but here comes Ward back. I think Ward, uh, like he did in the first fight, he might be hoping to catch him and time him, and maybe he can, but with that cut, it does not bode well, and he took some shots, and he was wobble, and, you know, Kovalev, Kovalev knows there's only so much damage he needs to cause before the ref will stop it. Oh, and they're nice combination by Andre Ward. Andre Ward's setting traps now. This is where Kovalev, this is where Ward wants to be. He's got to figure out a way to keep Kovalev, Kovalev there. Oh, Ward just got tagged. Anybody tagged him right back. He tagged he tagged Kovalev right right back as we head into the final part of the formula round. Oh, and now Kovalev is cut over the eye. Both these guys are tired, and um, the the judges are all giving that round to Sergey Kovalev. But now both of them are cut. This becomes a much even game now as we head into the fifth round. Sergey Kovalev is now back ahead. The score is one fifteen Kovalev, one fourteen Ward. Let's see how the how the rest of this bout plays out. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. I have a show on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. You are watching Boxing Time TV. This is our maiden voyage, our first broadcast. I should have been doing this years ago. Um, I'm hoping to do a ton of these kind of simulated fights, past and present. So, you know, what, uh, some of them I'd like to do are Prior Arguello 3, Leonard Hearns 3, uh, maybe um, Hearns Duran 2. Um, if you can think of some that you'd like to see, send comments, let me know, um, and I will try to make those fights. I, I, I would love to have this be interactive because 
Um, this is a very good boxing game. It's a Sierra Championship Boxing. And I think this is actually made by another company and licensed. Oh, and now Ward's just getting it against the ropes. He, he's got to get off of those ropes. He's got to keep Sergey Kovalev off of him. You know, in the first fight, by about the fifth round, Kovalev had kind of gotten off of Ward. Um, that doesn't seem to be happening here. But Ward has such cool and such composure in the ring that he, you know, he'll figure, you know, he can figure out a way to get back in this thing. And he's, you know, he, he's not like he's not fighting back. It's not like he's not landing. He got beaten up a bit in the last round and he cut Kovalev. So let's, you know, let's just see. And, and, and neither fighter has gone down yet. Ward's moving well. He just landed a nice left hook. What he wants to do, this is where he wants to fight. He does not want to be against the ropes. But just Kovalev is just, his long arms and his reach, and he's he's just, he's size-wise, he just, you know, because Andre Ward's not a natural light heavyweight, but Sergey Kovalev is. All right. These two guys just engaging one another. Um... Right, right, right now, um, Andre Ward, he's the fighter on the left side of the screen. He's in the gray trunk. Sergey Kovalev is in the black and, and white. Ward landing a nice right hand. Kovalev landing two right hands. Ward going to the body. Kovalev tagging him. Going, still going to the body. Well, you know, this is where Ward wants to be, and he's, and he's kind of getting tagged. I'm wondering what happened, because I can only find out of how, how bad the cuts are in between rounds. Ward seems to be seems to have found something, and he seems to have found a moment where Sergey Kovalev is not throwing, and maybe Ward's hoping to steal the last part of this round. It's been a it's been a bit of an even round, although Sergey Kovalev does well early, and then Ward you know sneaks his way back into the fight. Kovalev has a gash over his eye, ladies and gentlemen. They may very well stop this fight, and if that's the case, Ward will be the winner. Ward's very tired and has a cut over his eye. Kovalev's very tired and has a gash over his eye. However, Sergey Kovalev won that last round, and he is way up on the cards now as the fight is 140. Well, not way up, but he has 145 points to Andre Ward's 141. And I'm telling you, it's those cleaner, precise punches that are allowing Andre Ward to take advantage of the cut and the abrasion that Sergey Kovalev has. Let's see what the computer does because Ward is winning. Ward's been the aggressor. And I think, I believe, I don't know this for sure, I'd like to talk to the makers of this game. I think that there's an algorithm in this computer game that allows a fighter who's doing well, even if he's hurt, to stay in the fight. Because I've seen that many times with my fighters. But, hey, these computers have a mind of their own. So we will see. Oh, 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 Ward. Oh, Ward, Ward hurt Kovalev with a beautiful uppercut. Or Kovalev with a beautiful uppercut. Oh, but he's just not throwing the punches. They're like standing in front of each other. Here comes Kovalev back. Kovalev throwing. And Ward seems to just be waiting, pot trying, hoping to land that punch again. And the problem is Ward's not a one-shot guy. And, um, and Kovalev is. And that's the thing. If Kovalev lands, you don't ever want to count Kovalev, Kovalev, Kovalev out. Because right now... Kovalev's winning this fight. The only problem is he has a bad cut, and this could be stopped. Ward trying to be pesky, trying to trying to steal this. He wobbled him, and that seemed to sap Ward. I'm sorry, he Ward wobbled Kovalev. That seemed to sap Kovalev a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if if if, if Ward can do something to maybe take take advantage of that. Again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. The first programming, Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev, rematch sim simulation. Well, Ward, I believe, is clearly winning this round, which if he wins this round, will only put him one point behind Kovalev. And at least if it was to be stopped, people wouldn't complain. <coughs> These two right now are just, you know, giving as good as they get. Ward, I think, thinks that he may have Kovalev. The problem with doing that is Ward's opening himself up to be hit. And, you know, allowing Kovalev to get, you know, to, to, to fight off the ropes. And we know, I mean, we've seen, you know, Ward just hurt Kovalev. 
but in but in the first bout in real life, we saw Kovalev drop Ward hard. So let's see how this continues to unfold. We're doing nice work in the corner. Kovalev, oh, back and Kovalev into, into the into the ropes. Honestly, I don't know how a judge could give could give the round to Sergey Kovalev. And if this is the case, Andre Ward, Andre Ward may just stop him. If the, if, if the ref and the judges see here, Andre Ward's winning this back. This has been a seesaw bout. Kind of reminds me of Riddick Bowe versus Evander Holyfield too. So now Sergey Kovalev, 173, Andre Ward, 171. Kovalev up by the slimmest of margins. He's still in this. Ward's still in this. Oh, Ward landing on that gash. Nice right hand. Ward landing to the body. Something has turned in this fight. Something has turned in this fight. Oh, 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 oh! And here I said something's turned, and, on, and Sergei Kovalev belts through with two pole-axing left hands. And it looks like he's going to do it. Andre Ward's not getting up. Sergey Kovalev, ladies and gentlemen, has won the rematch. He knocked out Andre Ward in what I want to say is the seventh round. Let's go over this. The winner is Sergey Kovalev by a knockout. The fight lasted seven rounds. Ward was knocked down one time and has a cut over his eye. Kovalev was not knocked down and has a gash over his eye. The scores were so close. Sergey Kovalev up on the scorecards. And hey, Andre Ward was in this fight. It just wasn't meant to be in the simulation rematch. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. You can you can find me on Instagram at Boxing Time with Evan. Thank you for watching Boxing Time with TV. Please tell everyone about this and 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 send me in the comments or email me and send me um, fights that you want to see and I will do everything I can to get them set up. Once again, thank you for watching and tune in next time.